Hello everyone, welcome back to the next lecture in the computer network series and we are in part 1 of framing. Framing is one of the services offered by data link layer. We will start the session with outcomes. In today's session, we have two outcomes, we will see what are they. Upon the completion of the session, the learner will be able to. Outcome number 1, we will understand framing. Outcome number 2, we will understand framing errors. We will start with what is a framing? In the upcoming lecture, we will see framing in a formal way, but in today's session, we will understand framing in a practical way using an animation. Suppose if there are two nodes. This node can be a computer or a router or a switch. This is node A and this is node B. And every node will have an adapter. And this adapter only will be sending the data whatever it receives from the data link layer into signals. And this signal will flow through this cable or the medium. It is received by the physical layer of node B. Now the problem is, the application layer creates the data which is a set of zeros and ones. Then it goes to the transport layer. In transport layer, it is going to add some set of zeros and ones. It is then handed over to the network layer. In network layer also, it is going to add network layer header. We will call it as a packet. So again, it is a set of zeros and ones are added. And then it goes to the data link layer. In the data link layer, set of zeros and ones are added in the header part and the set of zeros and ones are added in the trailer part. So we have a complete set of zeros and ones, which we call as a frame. And the set of zeros and ones are packed into a frame and these frames are understandable only by the data link layer. As far as a physical layer is concerned, the frame, it is a set of zeros and ones. The physical layer takes every individual bits, that say one or zero and converts it into equivalent signals and sends it. So in the physical layer, it doesn't know anything about the frame, but data link layer only deals with the frame. Whenever the zeros and ones are sent to the receiver, the receiver collects all the zeros and ones. So the physical layer of the receiver, that is this adapter, collects all the zeros and ones and it has to construct the frame. But the problem is, how do the receiver know that this is the frame? Say for example, this computer is going to send 500 bits of data, where 50 bits of data belong to frame 1. When 50 bits are sent, all the 50 signals are received and the receiver's adapter receives all the 50 signals. And how this receiver knows that up to 50 signals are frame 1 or up to 50 bits are frame 1. And this is the problem and we are going to deal with this problem and with a solution. And we understand that between adapters, bits are going to flow and between nodes, we say they are frames. Bits flow between adapters and frames flow between hosts or between nodes. We will see an animation now. Suppose there are two computers. Let's say these two computers are happy computers. Why? Because they are ready for data exchange. When the sequence of bits are sent by the sender computer, that is this computer, how does the receiver computer understand frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, etc.? Before they start the communication, they mutually agree upon a protocol. Because protocol defines the rules and regulations that governs the data communication. So here also the protocol defines a rule. Let the rule be. Let the start of the frame and the end of the frame be 11011. When the sender computer receives a packet from the network layer, it is going to add a header and the trailer. In the header, it is going to add this information that is 11011 and in the trailer part also, it is going to add this 11011. There are other informations are also added with the header and trailer, but I am concerned only about the start of the frame and the end of the frame in this lecture. Let's assume that 11011 is the start of the frame and 11011 as the end of the frame. Let's see whether these two computers are agreeing upon this protocol. This computer is agreeing upon the protocol and this computer is also agreeing upon the protocol. Since common protocol is there between both the sender and the receiver, now this communication can be effective. Let's say the sender is going to send the data. If you notice, the sender is creating the data and the frame. Now this is the data that is generated by the sender computer. We can notice that this is the start of the frame and this is the end of the frame. Let's say this is what the information we receive from the network layer that is the packet and with the packet it is going to add some header and the trailer and this is the start of the frame it is 11011 and this is the end of the frame 11011. When the data is accepted by the receiver it understands that this is the end of the frame and it says the frame is accepted. Why? Because this node also knows that the start of the frame is 11011 and the end of the frame is 11011. There is a serious problem here. Let's see what's that problem now. Can you figure out any problem in this scenario? 
Let's say this is the data generated by this and this is what the frame is because we have a starting sequence that is 11011 and we have an end sequence this is 11011. Can you notice there is a problem here? If you want I will give you a clue. And this is the problem actually. There is a sequence that is 11011 in the data part also. According to this sender, whatever it has received from the network layer, it adds the start of the sequence and the end of the sequence. But this data is nowhere related with the data link layer. And we can understand from the scenario that this is the end of the frame and this is the start of the frame. And this one, that is this 11011 is the data or the payload. There is a data which is resembling the start of the frame as well as the end of the frame. So when the receiver computer receives this information, it understands that this is the end of the frame because the adapter of the receiver receives continuous zeros and ones. Whenever it receives 11011, it understands that's the start of the frame and it understands this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, all these are data. And whenever it receives 11011, it understands this is the end of the frame. So according to this receiver, it understands this is a frame. Actually, this is not the frame that was created by the sender. When the receiver constructs this as the frame, this is what we call as a framing error. We don't expect our receiver to create a frame like this. This is the problem. Because if we say that the bit sequence is the start of the frame and the end of the frame, and there are chances for the same sequence to appear in the data part also or in the payload part also. And this framing error has to be handled. And we will see in the upcoming lectures how framing errors are handled in the protocols. I hope you guys have understood what is framing and framing errors. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and thank you for watching.